Hey, it's Tanya and Dave, your Las Vegas locals from Turn It Up World. And today we're eating at some of the best restaurants on the Las Vegas Strip. Join us as we dive into these top Las Vegas Strip restaurants and share our detailed reviews. Oh, and you might want to grab a pen and paper and add some of these spots to your next trip to Las Vegas. All right, y'all, let's eat. for you guys this place is absolutely beautiful oh uh, this place is amazing they just actually had their grand opening yeah and i'm looking forward to some really interesting things here one they're really known already for those fish oh yeah they ship the fish in daily effectively so the fish is super fresh it's gonna be some good eating yeah and as a matter of fact i think we can actually get a little education on some of those fishes over there. Yeah, I think so. Should we go take a look? I think we should. Right, but first, we gotta start off with a little wine. Now usually we do old fashions. Right. But we're going with, uh, this is this fish and fish and fish. Might as well go with the white wine, right? It's crispy little white wine, crispy kinda white. nice. Cheers. Cheers. That was right? super cool. Yeah, pretty amazing display, and I think I know what we may be getting. I think I know what you're thinking. Oh yeah? Yeah. What do you think that is? Mm. If I am correct, pass me that little here we go. thing over there. Got a few lists here. Kind of gives you here. like a list here. List of the available So there's fish. the Black Blast, the Thai Snapper, the Bronzino, the Red Snapper, the Turbo, Striped Bass, Golden Snapper, and uh, Cut Up in Venero Shrimp. Right. I think it is the Turbo. Yes, we love, yeah, yeah you got it. We, um, and we're thinking the filet, yeah. the turbo filet. We love sole, oh Dover sole in particular, gosh. and turbo is like that quite a bit, you yeah. know? And so we're excited to try that here. Yeah, now they do, it takes a little time to repair it. They're gonna kind of open it up, filet it, all that great stuff, so it takes some time. So we are gonna start off with some appetizers, and two in particular right now, and uh, yeah, both came highly recommended. Highly too, recommended. As well, so. so, and we've never had this. So, one is the charred octopus, which is super. It looks amazing. It's already here, by the way. Um, super amazing. It's got. Um, it's about twenty six for that one, and I believe the soft scrambled egg, which I've never heard of. Soft know, scrambled soft egg. Soft scrambled egg. Sounds like a brunch item yeah. or a breakfast item. Yeah. On toast. But hey, this is and no. tomato. No, this is a Malfi by Bobby Flay. I know. It gets, Style. It gets extra creative up yes. in here. And that one is actually at $19. So I think yeah, we're without hungry. further ado. We're ready to dive in. All right. So first up, charred octopus. All right. Here we go. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, well, I think you should have the first bite. Let me know what you think. Okay. It's definitely your jam. Okay. All right. Give it a shot. All right. Oh, I tell you, it smells, it smells and looks really good. And you gotta try it with the shishito. Yeah, shishito peppers are a must. Love shishito peppers. You do. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. Mm. That, that's a big yes right there. That was almost like a wow. Incredible. Yeah, that, right? Exactly. <laughs> that right there is getting. Four turn it up world bobbleheads right there. Ooh, bobbleheads. Four. That's nice. good. I think you might like Excellent. to give it a shot. And that's four out of four? Or four, four out of five. five? Four out of five, okay. Four out of five. Here we go, I'll give it a shot. Gotta get some of the shishito. Perfect. It's a perfect spot. Nice and charred flavor. Mm. Got that little charred, it's a little citrusy and lemony and. Yeah, I love the charred. You really. You can really taste the flame on that. I mean, that just jumps right out at you. It's very tender. It is tender. Very nice. I was afraid kind of a dog might be a little rubbery at all, but not at all. No. It is excellent. It's and awesome. that char just kind of comes right through it. Sounds like a wow. 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 <laughs> Unbelievable. No, it's good. It's actually very good. Yeah. So this next dish uh, came highly recommended. 
and it's definitely an odd one. Soft scrambled <laughs> eggs, right, with uh, garlic toast. Well, some roasted garlic and some nice toast as well. Um, I'm really curious about it. Want to give it a try? Can you uh, hook me up? Absolutely. I'm going to kind of scoop on, scoop some of this soft uh, scrambled right on there it's for almost, you. It almost looks grits like. I know. Right? Yeah, I bet you it's really, really yummy. Let me get some of this uh, good old stuff on there. Not sure Thank you. what everything is. There we go. Awesome. I'm on in. Thank you. Grab one yourself. Let's do this together. Let's do it. Yeah. The texture looks really neat. Oh, it. it smells fresh. Let's do it. Mm, cheers. Mmm. 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 Good. Mm. That when they say soft scramble, they mean soft scramble. Very soft. Super, super creamy. And the toast, you know, is not tough biting through at all. Kind of a nice flavor on it. It's good. I like it. I like the the contrast with the, the crunch from the bread, a little yeah. bit of that tomato, the roasted garlic is in there as well. Yeah, that's good. And that really does remind me of like a tasty grit. It's yeah, like, it's right? like a scram I don't know, it's, it reminds me of grits. If you know what grits are, if you don't, I think you're right. It's really good. It has like a really kind of creamy yeah. uh, texture to it. That's absolutely delicious. Can I just tell you, this is really off to a great start right now. It is. Cheers. Cheers, baby. Love you. Love you. Malfi chopped salad. Ooh, love chopped salad. Yeah, we love chopped salad. It looks very good as well. We're excited to uh, jump into it. Some uh, lemon vinaigrette that comes with. I'm just ready to dive ready in. Ready to dive in. Let's do it. Oh, look at that. Is that a... Oh, nice. Red leaf lettuce. Yeah. Chickpeas in there. Mm. Right, yeah. yeah. Super fresh. Yeah, it's funny. I was gonna put it in one word. Refreshing. <laughs> yeah, I would say it kind of has that coastal Italian, just kind of fresh chopped salad, right? Everything tastes very good. I love the lemon kind of vibe. Yeah. The lemon vinaigrette coming out of there. The chickpeas, the variations of lettuce. It just, you're right. That one word says it all. Refreshing. <laughs> very good. I'm gonna dive on and have some more. So the turbo has arrived. Yum yum, give me some. Yeah. Excited to dive in? I am. I know there's a couple sauces to go with it, but I think traditionally, like we like to do. You know, try it without the sauce first. Okay. Exactly. You ready to dive in? I'm ready. Let's go. Ooh. That flavor. Ooh. Mm. Oh, that was good. Mm -hmm. That was good by you. That is nice. It has a firm taste to it. The taste of seasoning, the oil, the butter. Um, pretty nice. Yeah, no, it's very nice. Now, I'll tell you, it's a, definitely a firmer fish than, say, the Dover Sole. Yeah, right? Uh, but it's good. It's very good. And I'm excited to try some of the sauces with it. Yeah. As well. Yeah. And I think I may try the salsa verde nice. sauce to start. I like that. Oh, do like to try. I think we'll try that as well. Okay, good. I'm curious to see what that one's like. Yeah. But it looks really, it has like a really rich aroma to it. Right. Ooh, that smells really good. Yeah, I'm gonna put some on there. Olive oil. Oh man, that looks awesome. Put that on there. That looks awesome. Oh. Mmm. Mm. A little bit goes a long way. A lot that goes a long way too. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's really refreshing. It brings an additional dynamic 
kind of brings out the freshness of the fish, right? You kind of have the cooked fish, but uh, that salsa verde is excellent on there. Nice. I'm going to yeah. try the uh, next one. I, yeah. I can't remember what it is. It's more like a lemony. Yeah, it's a lemon uh, paper. You know, basically, it's a Meyer lemon paper Ooh. sauce. Yeah. I like paper. Give that sauce. We put that on there. Fill that right up. Oh, that's my favorite so far. That is? Okay. Let's try mm -hmm. that one. That adds a really creamy texture to it. The capers has that nice little, mm. almost a lemony mm. kind of tang to it. Oh my goodness. That makes it extra buttery. Mm. That is excellent. That's my jam. Boom. I love that favorite. too. That's my jam. That what? one gets right there. I think that I need more. Gets. I just want to pour it all over it. Five. That's a five star sauce. Five, turn it up world bobbleheads. That Meyer lemon paper sauce. Five, turn it up world bobbleheads. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> Let's give this third one a shot. Now yeah. they said this one's kind of the yeah, richest is, of them all. Yeah, red pepper, kind of a chili pesto sauce. Ooh, so that's gonna be, that's like the boldest one of them all. Yeah, look at that shot here. Let's give it a shot. Red pesto, I like. The chili makes me nervous. Right. That I sounds like it might be a little spicy. Right, I'm not sure any of it's super hot. It's just, let's see. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. It is spicy. That's good. There's a little, there's a little kick to that. Okay, good. Yeah. That is good. Mm. You definitely taste the, the red pepper yeah. and the chili. Kind of creeps up on you. You do. It's That's good. really good. It's a nice sauce. Yeah. I, and I, I, I gotta say though that uh, lemon paper is spot on for this. It's really it's a great match for the turbo fillet. Yeah. It's I very agree. good. Yeah. It's time for us to. I'm Turbo on, in. on into this exactly. Yeah. certainly not least is the spaghetti zucchini now we like spaghetti we like zucchini nice combination it smells good i'm, I'm ready Leave yeah it. yeah it looks really good it's in that i think like a zucchini pesto sauce nice mm -hmm. probably excellent i can't wait probably. to try it <laughs> from the way that smells i think you're probably oh wait it's a little on the <laughs> Oh, I'm nice. in there. It breaks apart so nicely. It's so hot. Nice fresh pasta. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm ready. Ready? Yeah, I'm gonna Cheers. grab a little zucchini here. To make a mess. Oh my god. Mm. That is so mm. good. It's good. That is so good. It's like the pasta's tender. Oh yeah. The sauce is nice. It's mild. It's not it's like amazing. There. And I love the little breadcrumb crunch. It's so good. I think that zucchini with the pesto is a great combination. Isn't it? It's good. It's like almost perfectly grilled. I love zucchini. I love pesto. I love pasta. So hey, can't lose on this one. I love the grill. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that is really good. That is probably the highlight for me right now. This is incredible. That's amazing. Yeah, I highly recommend this if you're coming to uh, Amalfi. Try this out. It's good. It's an excellent. We had it as a side to the uh, to the fish, and it's excellent. Oh, I agree. I think like I don't know. Every bite, just so good. So good. Okay. All right. I'm I'm getting there. I'm really getting there. I'm getting there too. <laughs> yes. I mean, I'm getting pretty stuffed. Getting close. We have, we have to have something for dessert, though. We do. What are we gonna get? Well, it's a traditional coastal Italian dessert. And what's that, babe? It's actually right there. Yes, the olive oil and toasted semolina cake, which, from what they were telling us, almost has this sort of cornbreadish type vibe, um, a peach uh, flavor, mixed in with a, a whipped ricotta. Yeah, whipped ricotta. Like, what wow. is that? Really? Whipped ricotta? So which we gotta try this. It has a sweetened whipped cream vibe. Well, hey, we're gonna give it a shot. Exactly. Give it a shot. Oh, 
All right, I am ready for the bite. Kind saw. Here you go. Feed me. Feed me, Seymour. That is really good. Oh, she nailed it. That tastes, I can't even explain it. It has a cornbread vibe. It almost feels soaked in like a little bit of a peaches and lemon and the, the whip ricotta. Yeah, the whip ricotta is amazing. And the almond pieces. Yeah, really good. You're gonna like it. I gotta feed you. Feed I gotta me. feed you. No, I'm gonna get a good piece. Oh, there it is. Yes. I'm gonna add you. Yes, you ready? Yeah. Mm. Heaven! 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 <laughs> Okay, as per always, I am so stuffed. Woo. I am so stuffed. Well, let me ask you. Sure. So, what'd you think of this place? Well, what do you think? Overall, that was a fun experience dining here at uh, Amalfi by Bobby Clay. Yeah, and a really a great place. Now, certainly not cheap. No, right? not, not cheap, but a great experience, amazing service, great seafood, and pasta too. Yeah, and the yeah. dessert was a nice little icing on the cake. up at the top of the world restaurant, but we're in the bar area. So if you don't have a reservation for the restaurant, you can come up to the bar. It's actually very nice, still some amazing views up here, and enjoy a drink and some appetizers. Oh, and if you don't have a reservation like we didn't, if you're kind enough to ask one of the hostesses here, you'd like to dine downstairs, if there's something available from what she told me, as long as you have a minimum tab of 55 bucks, if something's available, you can sit down and watch Vegas rotate right in front of your eyes. <laughs> there's the restaurant right there that moves and grooves. How you feeling? It's kind of weird. Like when I see you know, rotating down below, we aren't rotating. Makes me feel a little kind of little queasy, queasy, queasy dizzy, yeah. Trees, right? like, it's like weird, a yeah. For a great night, Cheers, I ended up babe. getting a, uh, what do you call it, a mocktail mojito, and you got a non-mocktail old-fashioned. Yeah, old-fashioned. <laughs> Cheers, for a Cheers, great babe. night. Love you so much. Love you so much. Mm. <laughs> So I ended up getting the lobster bisque here. The lobster bisque is 21 bucks, but it's a great presentation. Real lobster meat on the bottom as they pour in the uh, lobster bisque itself. Mm, mm -mm. It's kind of music loud. So I like how you order. Mm. I have like order envy on that one. Do you? Yes. Well, you know I'm gonna share with you, baby. <laughs> you know I'm gonna share with you. <laughs> the bisque is just right. It's not too watery. It has a nice consistency to it. It almost tastes the creme fraiche in it. It's delicious. So I gotta say, this is a bit interesting, right? <laughs> it's basically Creole style lump crab toast with Creole butter. It's actually clearly put into the oven, right? And kind of crispy it up. I'm taking a bite. Take a bite. That's good though. That's tasty. Oh, I am definitely never trying that. Oh my God, so scary.
tonight we are excited because tonight we are finally dining at Resorts World Carver Steakhouse. That's right, a new steakhouse here in Vegas. Yeah, and we've been dying to try this place for quite some time, so it's finally happening. Now, we're a little late. I hope they still have our table. So you ready to rock? I'm ready, let's, let's go. Let's rock. Woo. Oh, well, this is nice. I love walking in. It reminds me of a well, really cool retro. Right? Let's say they've reimagined the classic steakhouse ah, here. Ah, reimagined. Wow, that sounds a little like jobs there. A little reimagining. Like we're on our seats here. Finally! In the lounge area. I know. Now, this is nice. It, it, even though it's a lounge area, it still feels like a restaurant vibe seating. A lot of cushions, lots of loud music kind of hovering above us with some old throwback, a little Frankie. And of course, what's the best way for us to kick things off, babe? A little old fashioned. Old fashioned. And the bartender claim it's the best in Vegas. Oh, the gauntlet has been dropped. Cheers, my dear, to a great night. Great night. Let's turn it up. Ooh. That's nice. Is that smooth? That is nice. I think yeah. you're gonna you're gonna want more of those cherries. I like think that. so. The Italian yeah. cherries are my jam. It's like to soak yeah. those into that delicious old fashioned. Well, a okay. okay. High five, though. <laughs> I'm like super excited. Can you believe the options on this menu? I mean, Jennifer, oh, yeah. if you guys come to this spot, I'm gonna talk to you for a quick second yes. here because our hostess is spot on. That makes the food taste even better when you have a great hostess, right? Absolutely. And there's some great options on the menu. We're gonna try a lot of things. Tonight, so and she's our hand model. Doing, we're just, so we're talking time. about her right now. Yeah, There's the hand in. coming closer. <laughs> it's the hand model. <laughs> we have service is great here. We're super excited to oh, try yeah. it out. There's so many, yeah. so many options on this menu. The thing I like about it is that there's a lot of a lot of great options. But it's not like a diner menu. You know, it's very focused in terms of bringing you the best quality. Ooh, yes, indeed. Let's talk about yeah. this menu first. Let's talk about it. The look of it. Oh, it's yeah. got the branding all over it. The yeah, it's all about how the menu is branded. It looks like a looks like a Christmas box. <laughs> it does. It looks like a Christmas like box, paper. just ready to be unwrapped. Open it up. Wrapping paper. Open like, it up. Throw me that steak, yes, right? Throw exactly. me a little bit of that lobster. Oh, we got stuff coming already oh, here. Oh man, bacon onion bread with yes. melted butter on the top. Wow. And this is butter with a little bit of salt. Flavor. I don't want to fill up though on bread. I know, I'm nervous. I was getting nervous. I, I look at that, I got nervous. I'm like, ooh. That's that like they say really a buffet good. is like, don't eat the pasta or the bread. I know. The problem is like Pringles. You can't just have one piece. It's like, you just can't have one. And I'm going to dive in. Darn good. It sounds really, really good. We're going to have a little bite. Okay, just a little nibble. Just a little bit. Just a little nibble. A little bit. And then we'll get back to the menu. Back to the menu. Okay, so we did so much talking. We didn't I have know. a chance to try that bread before our starters came out. Does that not look amazing? That Jap, what is that, Wagyu burgers? I see some hot dog buns over ah. there. That's what I see. It's like, my goodness gracious, little hot a, dog buns. But it's a Wagyu, Wagyu cheeseburger. Wagyu cheeseburger. Yes, okay. it's got caramelized onions, like aged provolone, Mornay truffle, and it's a buttered Parker roll, like a hot dog yeah, roll. Yeah, it looks and sounds everything but light. But light, yeah, I know. So anyway, kicking it off here. We'll I know. Appetizer. Might as well start with a light appetizer. Let's do it, baby. My first impression. Yeah. Awesome. Flavor is amazing. It's just a, it kind of melts in your mouth. Boy, that's so good. The bun is crispy and light. Yeah. It's soft. It's doughy. It's got a little butter texture. There's some yeah. cheese that kind of mm. oozes out and melts. It's, it's amazing. I think it's dynamite. Yeah, I think it's dynamite. Now, I just want to say for those interested, the price you is twenty-one it. bucks. Twenty-one dollars for this delicious thing here. Let's start. We get two. Out. Let's start. Cha-ching. 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 Cha 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 we got the uh, caviar popper. Now, the caviar poppers is uh, I can't even pronounce this, but it's uh, Gutierrez. Gouillieres, and it says a uh, lemon chive creme fresh. I, I think I might like it. Salty, sweet, right. kind of rhyming there. Now this is just so you know, twenty-two bucks. All right, let's see if it's worth it. Man. Cheers. We'll give it a good bite. Yeah, a good I'm bite. Good bite. It's exactly what I said. It's a little sweet, a little salty. You don't really taste the caviar so much, like the, the fishiness of a right, caviar. Yeah, no. But you do have that little bit of a lemon feel in there. Exactly, a lot of lemon in there, yeah. So it has like a little zest, a little softness, that little puff pastry that is wrapped around. I think that's really good. I think it's right. What surprised Ooh. me is how light it is. Oh, Throw it away. So, they just want to dance, right? They just want to dance. After that little kind of starter feel, how are you feeling? Are you feeling full? Are you feeling ready for the next one? I feel great. Really trying to pace things out tonight, which is awesome. Yes. So we're kind of 
And we've ordered some awesome stuff, so stay tuned for that. The idea of these starters are true starters. You know, yeah. they looked heavy. I was a little nervous at first, yeah, but once I sunk my teeth yeah. into them, I thought it worked really well. Rounds out nicely with the cocktail. We got some really great things coming up next. Come a steakhouse. Come a steakhouse. Come on. I don't know what the heck that was, but go with it. We're just, rolling. Just go with We're it. Rolling. So you guys, we have a Slingapore sling here. So I'm going to try and do it as well as Jennifer would say this. So here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this is a recreation of the classic 1950 recipe with Sip Smith Lemon Drizzle Gin, Cognier, Luxardo Cherry, Benedessin, Pineapple, Lime, Grenadine, and Bitters. So it wow. sounds really okay. like a nice hey guys, sweetness. Give a thumbs up in the comments below because Tanya did a great job there. Thank you. Give thumbs me some up. thumbs up and leave a do comment it. below. Let's we appreciate yes. that. Let's do a toast and cheers to a great night. To a great night, babe. Ooh. Okay, you might like this. I, I really it. like it. It is definitely refreshing. Has a little bit of a bite. Almost tastes like a punch. So it doesn't have that super sweet taste. A little bit of that lime kind of popping in there. It's really good. Yeah, almost like a fresh juice. Yes. Like With a punch to it. Yeah, that's good. One, two, three. Ooh. Oh, that was perfect. What Looks like here? the lobster came out, which is lobster and croup. Yes, I think that's right. Lobster and croup. Sounds good to me. And the lobster and croup is a two pound lobster. And the guy that brought it over said it was just flown in. It's a wrap puff pastry you saw, kind of looked like a yeah, bread pastry right that came off the top of that. And oh my goodness gracious, it's a lobster cognac cream. Right, kind of goes over the top. It goes over the top. And then they kind of take it off. And then they kind of take it off and, and put it to the, the side. But what they do is take the lobster out put it all wrapped in the cream and then they put it back into the lobster with a puff pastry on top. Yeah, I've never had anything like this before, so never, completely never. unique. So you ready to try this? I'm ready. Mm. Oh my god, that is delicious. Right. It's soft, it's flaky, it's got a buttery texture mm. to it. Yeah. I'm curious to try it with a, a little lobster on it. That is a really good lobster. Good flavor. Creamy, tender. The pastry is nice and soft. I think he said it all. He's got a mouthful. It's not kind of that classic simple lobster. It definitely comes with a lot of flavor. And the last time I've seen rich, a, so. yes. Very, very well, the rich. last time I've seen a lobster like this was at uh, Mayfair Supper Club. It had that very right, kind of similar true. vibe, which is super cool. Dish, yeah, right. but it's delicious. Right. That lobster did not have a chance at all. I was trying right. to run away for like half a minute. And I was like, get back here. I'm not done with you. It had that, quite the flavor on yeah, it. Yeah, it had lots, lots of flavor. Well, I am looking forward to trying some of this sashimi now. If I did not mention, so the lobster in Crute was $95. And it very much reminded us, like we were saying before, reminded us of Mayfair Supper yeah, Club. Yeah, Mayfair Supper Club. Yeah, there's a similar dish there. So w why don't we give this yellowtail sashimi a try here. I'm going to see right. what's in this one here. That has avocado, serrano chili, ginger, lime, ponzu. And that right there is $22 for this here. It looks like they give you different kind of sauces right there to dip. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, that's really good. Lemony zest, a little jalapeno, red pepper. Oh, it's going to be hot. Mmm, that is wonderful. Nice texture. Really nice. I love like yellowtail because it doesn't taste fishy. No, not at all. Great flavors around that. What do you think? I think it's great for you. <laughs> it's actually very good. Not fishy at all. <laughs> just not my jam. Now, one cool thing about this place is that there's kind of different areas you can you know, decide to eat in. We actually chose the lounge because they have a main dining area and then the patio out back. Yeah, there's like a, a variety of areas to sit in. Like you said, this is, feels very much like a lounge, even with the high kind of tufted oh, yeah, like absolutely. ceilings right next to the bar area, but yet it still has like an ambiance that you're not at a bar. That's and then true. of course you have the back room area, all those spacious seats, and then the outdoor, that would have been fun to sit at, especially now with the weather kind of being Perfect with the heat lamps. Maybe next time. Maybe next, Maybe time. next time. Maybe next time. Next time. Now, it's just a great opportunity for us to warm up for the main event before that main event comes. Here at Carver Steak, you get to choose your own oh, weapon. Oh, choose our own weapon. Because all these steak knives are custom made for Carver Steak. Ooh, That's okay. So I've never seen anything like this. Right, it's, it's, it's really fun. Right? I, think, I think the idea was a combination of Harry Potter meets so. Star Wars. Have, like, that black, Which uh, is that wand calling it? The black that. crystal. This one right here? Yeah, now look at the blade. It has this like. Oh, yes. Very beautiful marble. Look at that design. Right. Dave's picking his wand, you guys. I love it. Oh, nice. You're very welcome. Oh, okay. talk about Carver. I, I thought this was such a neat idea. Yeah. Like, where did they get this from? Harry Potter? You think the idea of choose your wand, like you were suggesting? Or, or Star Wars. Or Star Wars. Yeah, I love this one, though. It's really neat. I love that she said pick this one because it has, like, that sort of marble design yeah, on the uh, actual blade itself. Here's his basely. Basely. So does nothing slips out of those hands. It's good to have exactly. Got clumsy hands. You need a beastly knife. Clumsy hands. All right. Tell us so, the steaks. Let's see. So we have the Miyazaki Wagyu strip loin. 
It's actually $52 an ounce. So we're Ooh. getting four ounces of that. It's basically Japanese A5 Wagyu. That's gonna be really, really slow and oh, enjoy yeah. that flavor, because dang. I know, and we ordered it uh, medium as well. And then we're also getting domestic Wagyu, a rib cap, it's eight ounce. Snake River Farms, Eastern Idaho. Flavor. So here's the question now, what do you yeah. start with first? Because if you start with like the best, the best first, the other one's gonna taste like crap. I will feel like you start with the best just because it's less and you wanna have it when it's like hot. And it's 52 dollars an ounce, you wanna get it while it's- a damn lot of money. But I feel like the domestic wagon will hold the heat better. I just hope uh, we actually film and just sort of, like heat it down before we actually can show it. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> It's the A5 Miyazaki. Look how tiny that is. Of course, the asparagus. And there's the mac and cheese. Ah. <laughs> well, well, this looks unbelievable. Looks amazing. It's looks uh, really delicious. We haven't had a Japanese A5 Wagyu in a while. So. Oh, nothing. I mean, the last time we had it was at what, Gordon Ramsay steak? I think it might be, which is awesome. This is amazing. By the way, yeah, yeah. We were told to try this. You try a little bit of the, the Miyazaki. Yeah. And now, again, this is $54 an ounce, yeah. and you'll try it with a little bit of the mushrooms and then the shishitos. Yeah. He recommends putting a little sauce. I think I'll do that second. What about right. you? Just try it yeah, by itself right. first. Yeah, I think maybe I'll put the sauce on the side and dip it when I do have that. All right, so I'm going to go for the middle. I, I want to taste what this, how it melts in the mouth. Oh, wow. I feel like the uh, experience we had at Gordon Ramsay Steak almost like spoiled our Japanese A5, where our expectations are so, so high. So high. We'll see how this All right, let's give it a shot. Cheers. Oh my gosh. Speechless. Yeah. It's so good. It's just, there's nothing quite like Japanese Day 5 Wagyu. Boy, it's good. The flavor is perfect. It really just kind of melts away in your mouth as you do it. The mushrooms, you're so right. That flavor just melts in your mouth. Top that with a little bit of that mushroom. The flavor is so good for a mushroom. Meaty, creamy, of very course nice. we love shishito peppers, but that is dynamite. That is, that is good. so good. Wow. Oh, that is heavy. Yum, yum. Yeah, Give me some nice. more. Oh my, and it cuts right through with the knife. Just one pull. I'm gonna try a little dip, and maybe I'll try a little, little dip, dip, of, dip with the sauce. Yeah. Mm, here we come, well, nice and sauce. Too. It's funny, it definitely does not mm, need sauce. No. Sure. It's almost like a sesame kind of vibe. Um, the sauce is, it, it takes oh, yeah. away from the meat. Right. It's nice, but the That's flavor of the meat is so good. You don't need it. Oh, oh you got a spicy one. There's always I one in a pack. Love Cheetos. That was a spicy one. Yeah. Mm. It's very well, good. Enjoy. Oh. I'll show you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> very good. They just can't stop dancing. I feel like I have weight. Awesome kind of thing going yeah, on and, and on every bite. I'm like, every I'm not bite. taking a break. I'm just biting something else. Like, ooh, so good. I'm looking for more of that spicy sushito here. We're coming down to the last few pieces of this wagyu. Yeah. Time for a little slow motion chew. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Savor that flavor. It's like the slower you chew, the more flavor spews out. All right, you saw a little of this spicy stuff? It is amazing how it's funny because you always say this and then my mouth is on fire. Oh, you're gonna love it. And I go, oh, you're gonna love it. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Woo, you tricked me. Try a little bit of the domestic wagon rib cap. And it, I gotta say, it cuts like really nice. We asked for medium, it looks perfect. Just I think I'm it. okay. I'm, I'm gonna stay with anything spicy at the moment. I'll I will try the meat. Yeah, try the meat. I'll let you because the shito could have a little spice. Woo! Yeah, it's kind of like after I had that reefer. You tricked me on that one. I gotta get you now twice. Uh, trouble. Oh, trouble. Oh, that's really good. A little charred topping. So that domestic rib cap is just a Snake River farm. Yeah. Eastern Idaho, that's it. That probably just salt and pepper. It's that's what perfect. it tastes like. It's perfect. And that rib cap is a $70 cut. I nice. would certainly get this again. I think this is actually, if you love rib cap, it's a great rib cap here in Vegas. I mean, look at the color. That's perfect. Great color. Little pink on the inside. Yeah, this is absolutely one of the best, if not the best rib caps you'll get in Vegas. It's very good. It's not just good, it's very good. good you seem to say that a lot. Very good. That means you really like it. Yeah, what do you think? Very good. <laughs> very good. Of course, I, you, I gotta tell you, I am definitely feeling stuff. I've got a lot to eat tonight. I know. Yeah. And I'm really feeling that too. Now, I'm gonna have to say, between the A5 Wagyu and the rib cap, I prefer 
the rib cap tonight? Yeah, I have to say in terms of overall value, I think this domestic Wagyu rib cap is great. Yeah. It's a very good value here, and I think ordering again, we'd probably just go for that. I agree. Great. Absolutely agree. Now, I am definitely making room for that dessert stomach. How about you? Dessert Always. stomach! Dessert oh, stomach! It's empty, man. I, it's, I, empty. it's empty. High five Second for that. stomach. That just makes it taste better, right? Right, of course. Absolutely. So, we're going to bake it kind of like a s'more. Okay. So we're gonna let it cook a little bit on top, add some texture. There's a coconut cake under the bottom. Mix very so there in the middle. And once it's done steaming, go ahead and cut into it and enjoy. Wow, what a presentation. Very and it, The smell, it is like a s'mores. Now right? it's a coconut cake in there. So do you want the honors of cutting it? Oh, I think you're going diving in there. I wanna see you cut. You wanna see me get the cut? Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Woo! Wow, what is all that? This ice cream and sorbet and coconut and wowie, wowie, look at that. Ooh. There it goes. Let's give this a shot. It's, right. a, it's a baked Nevada, so it's almost like a baked Alaska, but Nevada. The marshmallow is kind of nice. That's probably where the coconut yeah. vibe is. I really taste that sherbet though. Isn't that really That's good? Trying, yeah. It's not too heavy too. No. It looks like crazy heavy, but it's really not. And it cleanses the palate. Cleanses the palate. Yeah. Cleanses the palate. Cleanse the palate. I feel like we got like three desserts in one. That's gonna last a while. We're gonna have to take some of that home with us. It's ice cream. It might not make it. <laughs> we gotta drive fast. I like this so bad. Woo! Oh my gosh! I am stuffed. <laughs> I am so stuffed. You know what I think, babe? What? I think it's time to. <laughs> I want to say cheers, baby, to the most amazing wife, amazing woman. I love you so much. Oh, thank you. I love you so much. My incredible, amazing husband. I love you so much. Yum, yum! Mmm. That's good. That is delicious. But this smoke on the boulevard is delicious. Okay, so babe, I gotta ask you this. Yes. What is your favorite dish here at Hell's Kitchen? Beef Wellington? No. No? No. My what? favorite of favorites here at Hell's Kitchen is what's right in front of me right now. Lobster risotto with, you have to get it with the shaved truffles. Ooh, that sounds good. Oh, that is to die for. All right, I'm gonna just, just I gotta I'm take a bite. It. I gotta take a nice little bite here. Oh, just gotta. Oh, look at that truffle. Oh, look at those. Oh my goodness gracious. With the crispy onion. Without a doubt, that is my absolute favorite. And I know it's yours too. Let's dive in. I love the lobster risotto. It is awesome here. Doesn't that look amazing? Yeah, I'm not sure we've had it before. Never. It's the first time it's a gray short rib, some crispy onion with some potato, some like demi glaze on there. It looks and it smells. It smells so good. I know. I'm excited. Wow. Mm, really good. That looks really delicious. Mm. It's good. You're gonna love it. It's a really good dish. Yummy. Chocolate. You do. Woo, I am 
It's really good. Ready. amazing this is definitely one of the best seats in vegas right on the strip i mean look, amazing view of the lake and we can't wait for the fountain show to kick off oh i know right i know what's it like every what like every 15 minutes after every, eight o'clock yeah, every 15 now now it's before so it'll be every 30 minutes oh. right so we're here early right it's kind of the, like we like, like we like always roll, do kind of the first seating first here first seats in yeah. the house high five up yeah high five, high five up. Up. all right this is gonna be good <laughs> So, a toast to a fun night filled with great food. Another awesome experience with my baby here at Prime. Thanks, baby. Cheers. Can't wait. Of course, we got to have the old fashions to kick Cheers, things baby. off. Love Cheers. you so much. Love you. Mmm. Mm. Ooh. I mean, you need some of these guys in there. there I you think go. you're right. I'll take one and dip it on in. I'll take the other and I'll just make it like sin. Potatoes, potato, cherry, tomatoes, and cherry. Yeah. All right, so looking at this menu, there's a lot of things on this menu I think we're probably gonna like, 100%. But with those prices, you gotta be a little selective about what you, what you want. So I'm thinking until we get them over here, maybe kind of explain things a little with these steak options, maybe what some of their favorites are. What do you think we kick things off with an appetizer, like the bacon wrap shrimp? What do you think? Oh, we switched sides, <laughs> right? Amazing view of the fountains, but I agree with you, babe. Bacon wrap shrimp sounds awesome. Now there, it's 29 bucks. Uh, again, as you know, things aren't cheap here, of course, but uh, bacon wrap shrimp, avocado and passion fruit mustard. I said we go for it. I Take like the off. sound of that. And then I uh, definitely feel like you're eyeing some steaks over there. Oh yeah, I'd like the uh, waiter to come over, maybe talk through it a little bit, but they have some great selections. So I'd love to get their thoughts on it. And then we'll kind of come back with the recommendation. Okay, babe, I think we narrowed it down, right? What yeah. do you think? I'm, I'm thinking they have this surf and turf off menu item, surf and turf. And uh, I'm thinking the ribeye and the lobster tail. All right, so of course we had to add a little bit of extra fire to the flame and go for some red wine. Now we're actually going for two Faust, which are from Napa Valley. And uh, I believe they're 25 and there's a Foley, which is 31. And that's per glass. So I think the cheapest one I've seen here, Dave, per glass is like 25 bucks. So yeah. we haven't done this in like forever to really eat out. So we're kind of making up for lost time for all the this steakhouses. Is, this, is a, this, is, this is our pre-Valentine's Day dinner. Yes, it was that's a good one. Day. No, this is the Valentine's Day dinner. Exactly. Like that. We, may be like, we may be like uh, hot tank camping. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Uh, exactly. The tent. And you know what's funny? What do you think about the whole idea of us Going from the snow, it's now here at Prime. Yeah, oh, it's crazy. I mean, to go from Mount Charleston and the snow to down here, it's like culture shock a little bit. You're up like out of nowhere, you're in a tent, you know, got the wood stove going, camping, and now we're center strip in one of the most amazing restaurants here in Las Vegas. As a matter of fact, I love guys, it though. I love it. It's cool. And if you I haven't seen that hot tent video, yes. you guys, that first one we did hot tent camping, definitely go check it out. You will not believe it's our first time. Thumbs up. <laughs> High five. <laughs> All right. You know, we've been on the search to find the best Caesar salad in Las Vegas. Now, they didn't make it in front of us, that's okay, but we did find out that the Caesar dressing here is made in house. Kind of the anchovies mixed in. I'm gonna add a couple of these little little bad boys in to my salad on the side. I do like them. And I've come I've kind of grown accustomed to liking them. And let's uh let's give it a shot. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna try and get a good blend of all of it in there. with the uh, Parmesan cheese, as well as. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> What's the verdict, babe? We've tried a lot of Caesars in Vegas. That's not bad. I will say one thing. There's a lot more zest in it than I would have liked, meaning that lemon flavor. <clears throat> so, it's a a zest, of, so it's a zesty Caesar. Yeah, it's a zesty Caesar. We tend to like our Caesar dressings a little bit more on the garlicky side. Um, kind of rich and kind of creamy in, in flavor. So not not bad, but... But well, you need to, need to chase it down need after. To, yeah, need a little less zest. <laughs> what do you think? I'll let you know. No, I'm not... I don't really put those... Uh, anchovies on top. I like the anchovies in the dressing, but I don't lay them on top. I didn't really the catch way. that in the dressing yeah. to me. It felt more lemony. I, I, I definitely taste the zest. I think it's pretty darn good, though. It is good. But you're right, it has a little bit of that zestiness in there. It's a nice, rich Caesar flavor, though. And uh, all in all, quite good. You know, we didn't ask for extra dressing on the side. I know, we almost always do that, right? But there was a funny story from Vicente, one of our servers who brought the Caesar out, he actually said the Caesar was actually first created in Tijuana, Mexico. What? By an Italian wow. restaurateur down in Tijuana. Mm. So is a Caesar, Caesar salad really Mexican? Mm. <laughs> I don't think so, but apparently if that's true, that's amazing, down in Tijuana. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like watching it from kind of like water level. It's kind of neat. Kind of neat. Oh, I love it. Okay, in question, do we get a little side of butter for that? Yeah, I'll have some butter. Like lots of butter. <laughs> Make some room. Are we all done with the bread? Or? I'm all done with the bread. Oh, that's a New York strip, right? Yes. Yeah. Wow. That, is the that looks York amazing. Store. Smells amazing. The shishitos. Ooh. There's oh, always shishitos. that one one that kind of gets you. So get a. Watch out for that hot shishito. Yeah, watch for that hot shishito. Yes. Ooh. This looks amazing. Great thick slice of that Japanese New York strip. Yeah, I didn't realize how kind of thick the Japanese strip would be, or the uh, oh. New York strip would be. It just cut right through like wow. butter. No, I'm going to try it right by itself. I know I love shishito peppers. Yes. I love how they so serve I... shishito with it. Oh. This is Japanese New York strip. Is that really good, mm. huh? Mm. That has a lot of nice flavor. Now, what, what sauce is this? So this is peppercorn and brandy and veal sauce. Ooh. Adding mirin soy with ginger, shallot, garlic, Ooh. Asian influences. It's the house Yummy. Look at those sauces, guys. And the Bernese sauce. Oh, I love really it. Really nice sauces. Thank you. Yeah, there's three different types here. You got the, uh, the house favorite one right over here. Kind of all Asian inspired. Peppercorn. But Sounds by good. itself is dynamite, babe. Awesome. You're gonna try yours. I'm, I'm excited to see. What do you think about yours? This looks pretty amazing, babe. So I'm gonna give this uh, bone-in ribeye a, a, uh, a try. Yeah, it looks good. It, it's uh, it's it's so interesting. Good. This is not dry aged. It's just kind of regular bone-in ribeye. But oh, it does cut right through. Really nice. Let's see if I can kind of grab a little bit here. Give it a shot. Now, I actually asked for a medium. You kind of see that right there. Oh, it's nice yeah. and mm. Wow. <laughs> That's very good. A lot of flavor. I think they put, there's like kind of a salty sauce on there. I'm not sure what it is, but a lot of flavor in there. Very salty, but it's good. Very good. I'll dip it in the house sauce here. Can we triple dip? Of course you can. Triple dip? Here we go. Oh, here we go. Mm. Yeah, the Japanese strip is excellent. That's very good. You almost don't even need sauce with it. Steak and potatoes. 
The Bernie sauce is nice. It's a little bit on the sweet side, but creamy in texture. Really goes great with the meat, but those potatoes melt right in your mouth. It's like the perfect mashed. Yum, yum, give me some. More! <laughs> what do you think about the lobster, babe? Oh, uh, that butter sauce, that warm butter sauce. Mm. It's really good. Tender. Really nice size, too. The butter has just a little bit of salt in there. It's warm. So that lobster just melts right in my mouth. Okay. What do I think? Oh, yeah. I think it's time to eat. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good. The butter has a little bit of salt in it, too, which is really nice. And super tender on the lobster tail. It's good. Woo! It's a hot one. A little fog rolling in here to the Bellagio Center Strip. Oh, I think this is going to be a uh, Celine Dion. What do you think? It could be rolling in, rolling in. It looks really cool from uh, water level. Looks amazing from down here. Looks almost haunting. It does look haunting. It's like stay away from that fog. Not sure what's in the fog. It's like it's like Hunger Games. It like <laughs> yes, kill you. exactly. Watch out for that. You're gonna like melt away. Your skin's gonna peel off. Oh, it's coming in their faces. All right, oh, here it comes. I'm gonna let you get a full shot of this one. Get a full shot. You don't need me in that one. Oh nope, it's not. They changed it. Oh, here we go. That's Pink Panther. Pink, well, Pink Panther. Panther. So babe. Yeah. So what do you think about dessert tonight? I am stuffed. Normally yeah. I would go for dessert, but I think we have maxed out everything tonight, including the credit card. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, that's my definitely not cheap. Gracious. Any guesses on the uh, bill tonight? I have no idea, but I'm sure we're gonna find out. But let me ask you. Sure. So, what do you think of this place? Well, what did you think? A little sticker shock on that one. Not surprised. That was our most expensive meal in vegas so far yeah it definitely yes. was we've it had was, a lot of meals we have a lot yeah. of meals i know we are probably um it was enjoyable I it was enjoyable. a lot of fun the service was great amazing service and absolutely. i and i think you really do also pay for the fact that you're in one of the most iconic of spots course, of course uh on las vegas strip and your eye level to the fountain show yeah the staff is wonderful the food was was delicious i can't complain it yeah, was great yeah everything food's great service amazing amazing location so this is definitely that special meal if you're looking for that happy valentine's early day exactly mm -hmm. Welcome to Din Tai Fung. We are so excited to be here, finally. Now, we already sat down here. They kind of prepped us briefly a little bit in terms of how it works. They do things more family style. They set a menu in place, and a lot of these look amazingly delicious. Our waitress, Carol, already said that the one of the favorite dumplings is the uh, pork Jiao Long Bao. Yeah, definitely excited to try their famous two dumplings here. So it's going to be fun. We really are. So I know there's some choice cocktails she mentions. You guys know we like to start with some cocktails. So that is up first while we figure out what the heck we're going to eat. Voila. Voila. This yes. is amazing. I, I like the presentation already of the cocktail. Um, I ended up getting, uh, just so you guys know, this is the pear lychee martini. And what's in it is basically pear vodka, elderberry, uh, lychee, orchid. It's just beautiful presentation. Another one of those drinks, it's like, That's you know nice. what? It's so pretty, I'm not sure I'm gonna drink it, but I am. <laughs> yeah, looks great. Yeah. 
And this is a DTF Old Fashioned mm. Japanese Whiskey. Mm. And uh, I'm going to read this. It's Taiwanese Oolong Tea Syrup. Ooh. Uh, I, I've, I've cheated. I've had some. It tastes really good. Yeah. Right? And some orange bitters as well. But it's good. Yeah, you know what? I love the way that looks. I mean, you always get these wonderful cocktails that almost have like a classic presentation. Yes. Either with this sphere ice or a uh, round ice cube. or, a, a, you know, yeah. a square ice cube. Well, let's give these a shot because the smell of these are rich in aroma. I'm, I'm dying to try this. Cheers. Oh, mm, okay. Three words. That's my jam. Oh, nice. so good. I love like the lychee awesome. fruit. It's not super strong. The lychee's rich and fresh. Spot on delicious. I like this. Now this is, uh, for this cocktail, it's $16 for this drink. Yeah, and this is $16 as well. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, it's funny, it's very smooth and not too sweet. Mm -hmm. There's a sweetness to it with a syrup, but it's still, it's really good. Yeah, I love it. I, this is already gonna be feeling, beginning of a great night. Absolutely. Cheers. Mm. That looks great. So, as you can see, we started with a cucumber salad before we jump into the soup dumplings, right? The dumplings are definitely the highlight here, but this looks great. Looking forward to that. Exactly. And we figured, you know, we're going to go with some more of their popular dumplings here to give them a shot. So, I'm just going to read off the menu what we're getting. So, when they come, we're going to dive right into yes. them. So, we're going with what we talked about earlier was the uh, kurobota pork jialong bao, uh, a crab kurobota pork XLB. Um, vegetable pork dumplings. We're going to basically go with the shrimp and pork dumplings. We're going with the chicken dumplings, uh, shrimp, uh, pork shumai, and of course the sticky rice pork shumai, which those two are limited. Right. So they do run out of those, which are very, very popular. So I think this is really affordable. No, it seems really affordable. Yeah. And they do say you want to eat them right when they come out fresh. Yes. Right, so that's a challenge. You yeah. want to kind of come out and just dive right in. Yeah, you only and, got a uh, couple seconds before they cool off. So. Right. Get to challenge. Here we go. <laughs> so this should be fun. Now I can use chopsticks to some degree. Oh, Tommy's good at it. I know Deva, oh, David is not really a chopsticks per oh, person, no. but he's gonna give it a shot tonight, you guys. I'll so give it a shot for about 10 seconds. Here we go. I'll let you take the top one since it top might one. might be a little easier to grab. Yeah, good. Oh, it's already <laughs> not working. It's not working. Oh, oh. I'm going to the I'm back to the fork. All right. You ready? Uh oh, go for it. You got it. I think you got it. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. That I think. is delicious. Delicious. Really now, nice. The cucumbers I feel like they're using are the the ones we usually get. The long, skinny cucumbers. Right, very, very thin ones. Very like seedless. Seedless, yeah. sweet. And very I nice. think the dressing around it. It's really refreshing. And there's it's nice like spice in it too. Nice spice. There's a little, you have a little kick of a spice. I feel the heat in my, which I like. It's good. I agree. It's nice. And it was the, the piece I picked up that was on top of it. You dropped it off. That was actually garlic. Oh, okay. I was just shaving a garlic. Yeah, I dropped it off. I dropped it, it off for you. You dropped it off for me. But <laughs> let me tell you, it dropped in my mouth. And boy, don't come near me with that garlic because there's a lot of garlic right. in that bite. And what's in this? What's that? And that looks like it probably just a red uh, pepper. Let me try that one. You try the red pepper one. I'll see if let's I get see. that without like, Let's see if you can get that, you guys. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. All right, give them a round of applause. Mm. So first up is the right, so what uh, the pork dumplings, pork jialong bao. Yes, the right. pork jialong bao, and they look wonderful. Yeah. Here we I, go. You ready to try this? We might yeah. just dive into them while they're hot. Yeah. I'm afraid I'm going to break it. I know. Oh, I did it. You're gonna drop that in the sauce, like so. Put that Ooh, in the sauce. Thank you. And you only got a couple seconds in there. Right. I'm stick that on my spoon, right. like so. You're gonna poke a little hole in it, like hole in so. It. The, oh, there she goes. There it goes. There it goes. Yeah. And you're gonna slurpy slurpy. Exactly. <laughs> Pork all. There we uh, go. Are you ready to try yeah. a little slurpy slurpy? Oh, there you go. This is yeah. a tough, I got a some tough out little there. bugger. It's like me. You ready? You ready? Yeah. Oh, Here we go. I'm going to try it left handed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. Right, let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. That is so good. Mm. That is wonderful. Wow. Wonderful. The soup really does, mm. the flavors in that 
just really kind of hit your mouth. It's almost wow. like a surprise. It's like, like explosion of pow, surprise. Amazing. Delicious rice. Everything just tastes so fresh. The pork's incredible. And the soup inside, the dumpling. Wow. And how about that dumpling? Um, that dumpling oh, almost perfect. melts in your mouth. There's nothing this heavy is, about uh, that. I can understand the hype. This is really good. Yeah, and, and what wow. you do, again, with the sauce, um, yes. you got up, basically, you take the dumpling, you put it into the sauce. For those that didn't know how to do this, we learned as well. Um, and in this sauce, which is ginger, they basically have three parts of the vinegar and one part of the soy. And then you drop that dumpling right on top of there to soak up a little bit of that flavor. You put it on the spoon, yes. you pop a little hole in it, and you slurp it up. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Dynamite. See, there's a little crab in there to let you know it's a crab. Yes, I love right? it. That is so cute. There you go. I think it's really good, but I, mm -hmm. I like the pork better. I'm, but, you know, I'm not as much into crab. Right, you definitely taste a lot of the crab mm -hmm. in there. Very strong crab flavor. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. I think in this case, the crab does have a little bit more of an overpowering sensation. Right. Um, you think you want to get that balance of pork and crab in there, but I feel in this case, the uh, pork is not as potent right. as the crab. A little bit more in there. And I can't get over how delicate the dumplings are and how they just melt in your mouth. I the know. The dumpling itself. I know. Right. So you know what I'm going to do right now? What are you going to do? I'm going to let it go melt right in my mouth. Oh. There you go. Right. I thought that was really good. Really, really good. There's a nice balance between the shrimp, nice little crunch, and the pork on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's got a good, well-round, well-roundedness of flavors in there as well. Really nice, and the sauce is really good on the No, I agree completely. It's, I think, well-rounded. The balance, perfect balance between the shrimp and the pork. With the crab, I felt the crab overpowered the pork, like you said. But in this one, they really, it tastes both equally. Equally. And it's really nice. Spot on, delicious. Shum shum ma. Come on home to mama. Come on home. <laughs> oh, okay. So I have an idea. Okay. So I think we've had quite a few dumplings. I think we have one or two more coming. Yeah. But maybe we should kind of talk about or just mention which is our least favorite and which one is our favorite. Yeah, I definitely have uh, some contenders right now. Yeah. For sure. Exactly. But uh, we need to kind of try the remaining few and then uh, we'll let you know. I know you're gonna like it. It's um, it's that nice blend of the pork and the shrimp. Nice yes. balance, really good. And plus the um, the broth, the soup that's in there, it's, it's really hot and it's just kind of explodes in your mouth when you eat the dumpling. All right, so what is up next? I will tell you, first and foremost, I think I'm turning into a dumpling. Yes. We've had so many dumplings tonight. I think I'm thankful this is the last yeah. of the dumplings for the evening. So it looks amazing. Again, you have another shamai presentation. And this is a sticky rice and pork right. shamai. It looks good. It looks like a little tower from like a Super Mario game. Oh, man. Whew. I know. I'm getting those dumpling sweats. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a twist, if you will. Like I thought I'd have like a rice, you know, pork kind of combination. Mm -hmm. It didn't taste like it at all. I feel like it's mostly rice and I'm missing the pork. It tastes like a lot of rice. Um, also tasted drier. Yes. I didn't taste that soup broth in there. I think it all. I think the rice absorbed all that. Yes. Good right? point. Right. So it did surprise me a bit. Mm -hmm. And I agree. I thought it'd be a little bit less rice, more pork combo. 
with a soup, but it was very much like a rice dumpling. Yes. Right? So this is one I feel you might want to put a little bit extra sauce on there for sure. And that may not be all of them, but the first two were obviously the ones right. that we had, had a little bit of a, a little drier taste to them. Yeah. yeah, but I'm still going to dig in. Let's wrap this up. You ready? Absolutely. I'm ready. Yes. <laughs> oh. So what's better than having uh, dumplings for dinner? Uh, I don't know. What is? Dumplings for dessert. Mm. <laughs> Let's just dive right into this. Sure, they good. came out steaming hot. All right. Here we go. I think by the time I finish, I'm going to turn it into a dumpling, y'all. We are dumpling. All right, cheers. Here we go, cheers. Here we go. There's no spoon this time. Just oh. going to pop it right in. Mmm. 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 Oh, that's some um, amazing chocolate. <laughs> chocolate like bursts in your mouth. Really good. Wow. I wasn't sure about that because it was like wrapped in a dumpling. A dumpling, right? But that was amazing. Bam. Okay, I will Bam. tell you this. I am stuffed. Oh. I am so stuffed. Well, let me ask you. Sure. So what do you think of this place? Oh, what do you think? Overall, I'll have to say, hmm, what was your least favorite oh, of my, the dumpling? My least favorite? Yeah, I would have to say the vegetable. First of all, there was no real, I expected kind of that soup broth in there, but I think the vegetable soaked it all up. You didn't get that, it tasted a little dry, and plus it just tasted really, the vegetable, the greens really overpowered anything pork. else in there yeah yeah so that i'd have to say that's my least favorite i'm with you on that one and, and if you were to ask me what was the best yeah what is it what is your favorite i would say it's a tie it's a tie between the the first one which is the pork shalong bao yeah sure and i would say the uh, shrimp and pork shumai oh yeah both of those are excellent shumai, yes absolutely yeah. excellent now what would you say you know, pretty similar. I'd, I'd probably just go with the pork. Yes, because I, I kind of like simple things. Yes. You know, very simple. It, it was kind of I liked how they were small and delicate. Yes. And uh, it was also the first ones we had, so they kind of we were taken by surprise. Yes. Right? So the good. The flavors were yeah. so good. Wow! Welcome to Catch Las Vegas here at Aria. Yes, this is exciting for us. A really great spot here. It's kind of this contemporary Japanese seafood place, right? Sushi, a lot of good stuff here. It's gonna be amazing. I mean, Tanya loves sushi, and so I think this is definitely gonna be your jam tonight. The ambiance, when you walk in, it really is quite fascinating. Right from the moment you walk through those front doors that says catch, there's so many different pockets, so definitely have your cameras ready because there's a lot of Instagramable spots up there for sure. Exactly, and Catch has a reputation of being a really celebrity hotspot. I mean, it's big in LA and New York, and then they <laughs> came to Vegas, and so here it is, you know, Catch. Las Vegas. I'm excited. Now it's time to check out that drink menu because I heard they have some really great things on that menu. Yes. So let's check it out. So kicking things off this evening, we went with some of their signature cocktails here. This one is actually called a dirtier bastard. Dirtier bastard. <laughs> That's a good name. I know. I like and it basically has bourbon. It has like fresh ginger inside, lime, and of course a lemon tea cordial. Wow. And it just has a really refreshing rich aroma. And I love how it's mm. kind of served like this copper sort of mule right, cup. That's cool. It's so cute. Well, this beauty, this is called the Meatpacking Manhattan. Meatpacking? Meatpacking Manhattan. Is there a slice of bacon in there? <laughs> <laughs> no, right, exactly. I think it's a little bit of a, maybe a lime. Oh, wow. that might be a lime legend there. Of lime in there. Oh, it's really cool too. They actually bring it out with a flask. So they actually poured it in with a flask. You get to keep the flask. You get to keep the flask with your cocktail. I mean, it's definitely not cheap drinks. So I think these are $18 right. each drink. Exactly. So you can like booze it on the strip. It has rye whiskey in it. Oh it my gosh. It has rye cow, cyanar, sherry, and aperitif. So. Wow, I like the sound of that. Yeah. Well, you know what? Here's to a great evening. Cheers. Absolutely. I love you. Oh, That is really, really good. I mean, you nice. definitely taste like the lemon, the ginger. It almost has like a, a seltzery sort of vibe. So it's like a spritzer, but really good. And I love they have the mint twig on the side. Right. Gorgeous garnish. Very cool. And this is actually really good too. It is it's very sweet. Yes. Right? A little syrupy in a way. So I tend not to like the uh, sweet things quite as much, but it's still good. Yeah. You would love it, I think. You would love this one. And. Uh, 
but definitely, you definitely taste it. You taste the uh, whiskey in there for sure. Well, that's so a good drink when you can taste the whiskey. On that, so. All right. Well, all right. So we wasted no time. Yes. I'm super excited. So this is basically their signature sushi. It's called Catch Sushi. Now, you know I'm a big fan of sushi. Yeah, you love sushi. And I know you're not a huge fan of sushi. No, I'm gonna give it a try though. But I will tell you what you might like on this Catch Sushi. Now this Catch Sushi is basically, Ooh, it's got crab, like. salmon, and uh, it's a nice little sort of miso honey. Right. And is of that course- a little, like, jalapeno slice yes, on top? Yes, it's a jalapeno, jalapeno slice. slice. Oh my so God. should we try this together? Oh yeah. I, we have to try this together. So of course you get your own little sauce. Food. I love it. You ready to do it? I'm ready. All right. I want a lot of this nice sauce in there. <laughs> Soak it up, right? Soak it up. All right, here ready? we go. Mmm. 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 <laughs> I will say this. It tasted amazing, right? Like that first bite was really good. Really good. You really taste the jalapeno too. It's spicy. Right. Not yeah. a little cake. There's a little crunch in there. All right. And the crunch is coming from. I think it has that nice little. Like it just feels like like a salad sort of vibe in there. Right. The salmon is really rich though. You do I have really the salmon taste. Like really... once you kind of settle down, right. the salmon taste. I, I didn't taste the salmon at first. At first I was like, wow, I really like it. And I'm not a huge salmon fan. That's suddenly the salmon kicked in. Yes. And if you like salmon, you're gonna love it. Yeah. I'm just not a huge salmon lover. Right. And right. if you don't like it, just drown it in soy sauce. You're right. There, which I try to do. But I think if you are a fan of salmon, you like sushi. It's definitely a tasty roll. And Dave is right. The the jalapeno does give it a little bit of that extra kick. Oh, I love that. Which is really nice. And of Super. course the sauce. But this is. Right. This is spot on. So this is yeah. the catch roll. So I would say overall, that's really nice. It's got a lot of depth, dynamic, great flavors in there for sure. Now, how much was this? This was $23. Mm -hmm. so what so, do you think about that price? So definitely not cheap. But yeah. the sushi pieces are really big. It's got a lot of great flavor to that. I really like it. I think it's a great dish. I mean, for not being a sushi eater, I, that whole mix of flavor was really good. And of course, that nice little spicy kick from the jalapeno was great. So what do we got here? Well, this is a signature item here at Catch, the truffle sashimi. I like the way you right. said that. Yes, and it's got yellow tail and tuna. What's really nice too is it has like a chili oil, ponzu, caviar, and black truffle. And of course, caviar has a really salty sort of texture to that. So I'm dying to see the textures and flavors in this one. It looks like there's gonna be a lot of things going on in right. this dish. Unbelievable. Should we give it a shot? Okay. What do we try first? The Let's yellow see. tail? You sure, yellowtail? Right, let's a try shot? the yellowtail. I like it. All right. Drop in there. Ready? Yes. Go. Cheers. I gotta wait for you to do it because I, yeah, I can't. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Wow. Mm. Wow. Mm. wow. Now that is really good. That's nice. It's really, really light. Very right. light. Right. The yellowtail, you almost forgot about it with all the all that's going on around right. it. The truffle's very potent. Yeah, great flavor in that truffle sauce. It's like really good. Yes, the caviar gives a little bit of that salty texture to yeah. it. The scallions just really bring it on home. I thought that was really good. Yeah. It shocked me. Right. I put it in my mouth and I'm like, okay. And then I was like, whoa. Right. That, it was like the shuffle truffle all in my mouth. Oh, okay. shuffle, 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 shuffle. Oh. <laughs> All right. So we can try some of this tuna. Now. All right, let's try the tuna. I'll all let right. you take that one right there. Oh, it's all the blended here. It's already blended. The good blended stuff in. in there. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. That's wasabi. A little green wasabi, which is a real spicy kick. Oh, I like that part. Yeah, I know you would. Here we go. Ready? All right. Here we go. And then we'll say which one you like better. Here we go. Ready? All right, go. I think you probably like the yellowtail. I think the texture of the tuna may be a little bit more squishier. Yeah, a little squishy. <laughs> a, little, a, little, a little squishy. It's actually really good. It's not fishy at all. No. I don't think either is fishy, right? Like the salmon one, the salmon sushi, I really taste the salmon, kind of a fishiness to it. Right. Except the salmon dish, not at all. Really I think, good. I think that may have a lot to do with that truffle sauce. That truffle, sauce, truffle sauce is really is rich. Really nice sauce. 
That's good. Ooh, it's That's delicious. Good. The caviar. I still got the little crunchy bits. Right. That burst of salty deliciousness. Ooh. Just so you know, this is $34. $34? $34 for this dish here. And that obviously might have to do a lot with the caviar. Right. Truffles. Those are all kind of expensive compliments to a well, dish. that's true. And if the food is great quality and tastes great, sometimes it's worth spending the money for it. As far Absolutely. as I'm concerned, right? So. I, I think it's a wonderful yeah. thing to do for a special occasion, right. a great night out. The ambiance is great, low light. Now, it is a little loud. It is loud in here. But, but it's a cool vibe. It's a very cool, cool vibe. vibe. All right, now this is what I'm talking about. Get to the cook stuff. I right? know, the more hot. Exactly, <laughs> crispy shrimp with spicy mayo. And I tell you, it it smells good, it smells, it does smell really spicy. Yeah, which yeah. is what we like. Yeah. And it's a good amount of shrimp here. It is, yeah, it's not too right? bad, yeah. And the servers, we have our servers, Joe has been spot on. Yeah. You know, bringing out new utensils every step of the way, new chopsticks for me. Exactly, here we to go. To try the shrimp. Actually, dive Let's in. do it, let's, let's do, do it. it. And the mayo is already all mixed in it with is. the shrimp, spicy mayo sauce. So. Mm. Mm. Oh, I love it. Really, really good. The shrimp tastes so nice, really light. You know, it's not like really kind of a delicate shrimp, but really good. But that spicy mayo sauce is so tasty. Just a perfect blend of kind of the sweetness and the savory and a little bit, the spice does not overwhelm you at all. Nice spiciness to it, it's really good. Yeah, I feel like it's one of those that'll build. I definitely love the shrimp. It really tastes fresh. Mm, yeah. And the, the crunch layer on top of that, it's like a perfect crunch. It's not too breaded right, to really true. drown out the shrimp. David's right, the spice is spot on. Delicious. I love it. Mm. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> mm. I got a nice little crunchiness. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, wow, so what do we have there, babe? So for the main event, you guys, we went with an herb crusted bronzino. And it's really nice, sitting with like a sort of a creamy vegetable basamati. And it has a nice little glaze, almost like a pesto glaze around the side. And I'm cool. gonna compliment that with some lemon. That's not, yeah, it looks and smells really good. All right? Yeah. Now oh, I yeah. think this might be right up your alley. I think so. <laughs> Should we dive Should we just dive into this? Oh yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Oh man, I love that, how it cuts. Ooh, right, right there, there. It smells so good. Get some of this nice sauce in there. You gotta get the sauce, you gotta get the rice, the basamati. Ooh, the skin looks nice and crunchy. Right. You ready to do this? I'm making a mess here, guys. <laughs> Hold on, here we go, here we go, ready? Right, here we go, yeah. cheers. Right off the back, I love that it was a little crunch on the skin, a really buttery sort of yes. creamy texture mixed with that yeah. basamati. The fish is really nice. It doesn't right. have a fishy taste right, at nice all. That's a nice filet, really good. I really enjoyed it. It's really kind of creamy too, the whole the rice and everything in there. Nice creamy, creamy flavor. It's good. I absolutely think this is a dynamite fish. Yeah. The portion sizes are, they're well controlled. Now this is not a lot. It looks like it could be a, a one person thing, but yeah. sharing is probably perfect for exactly. us. Exactly. We like to share. We love to share. Yeah. Yeah. I will say I am full but not stuffed. That's true, that is true. Right? It so, was actually yeah, pretty nice. Pretty it nice. was, it really was. Yeah. So let me ask you. Sure. So what did you think of this place? What would you think? I would say I love the decor, I love the ambiance, a little on the loud side, but overall I really enjoyed the food. The dishes were spot on delicious. Yeah, now Catch is a really nice restaurant here. It's not definitely not cheap. No. Right, but the food quality is excellent, the service is great, there's a great vibe to it. Definitely worth visiting. Yeah, so when you're in the area or planning on visit, definitely stop and catch for a delicious meal. Wow, this feels very familiar. <laughs> yes, if you're staying at Circus Circus or really actually coming to Vegas, don't forget about this hidden gem in Circus Circus. Yeah, we actually did a video of the steakhouse at Circus Circus. If you guys want to check out an awesome video with a whole bunch of wonderful eats that they provide here, you should definitely check it out. As a matter of fact, we just bumped into the manager again today who told us a lot of you guys came in here and ate at the restaurant and really enjoyed it. So thank you very much. Keep coming because they're awesome. And this is one of the best steakhouses in all of Vegas. Yeah, and... Oh, we got our already drinks. Already kicking things off. Here we go. A little... Manhattan! Oh, fashion. Mm. 
It's gonna be a good night. It's gonna be a good night. So now that we've placed our orders, you know, we are very familiar with this menu here. We just wanna mention a couple things that we noticed that we think you should be aware of. So the Circus Circus is located a little bit more on the northern end of the strip. And there are some sections around that area that can be a little on the shady side, I guess you would say. So just be aware of that, especially if you're coming here with family. Right, and plus you have Sammy Davis Drive behind. And there have been some incidents in the past, so just you know, make sure you're careful at night if you're gonna walk around, right? You may wanna walk around during the daytime versus Absolutely. the night. Absolutely, you know? and certainly if you're gonna go, don't go alone, but go with it. I guess I must be your friend too. <laughs> <laughs> Go with it. Ooh, that's Go not scary. With it. <laughs> Have a red balloon. What's, what's the clown's name? Pennywise. Pennywise. Go with Pennywise. That's right. You're in good hands. <laughs> <laughs> yum, yum, give me some. taste the kind of the flame from the open fire pit that they have back there. That's good. That smoky taste. Yeah. The salt and pepper. That's good. A nice piece of steak without sauce is always exactly. top notch. Just want it kind of simple. So we hope you enjoyed our ultimate guide here to the top local restaurants in Las Vegas. And if there are some local restaurants you would like to see us try, please let us know in the comments below. See you in the next one. Bye.